guys, it is Wednesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. I was eating a cookie right before this, so if there are any crumbs, please excuse. I'm here in the kitchen. More specifically, right here in front of my pantry, guys. My pantry is one of my favorite rooms here in the house, and I just feel so bad for my pantry here lately. Yes, I'm giving an inanimate object feelings. I feel bad for her because I've just been shoving things in there here lately. I'll go to the grocery store. Most of the groceries I do put away in their correct uh, place or spot. However, here in the pantry, I've just been shoving stuff in there, okay? And there's no excuse for it, okay? We run a pretty tight ship around here. For the most part, everything is really organized. But again, um, here lately, I've just been I don't know, going ham. I've been getting a lot of new appliance from different companies. And while I do appreciate those, you know, new appliances you companies are sending me to try out, please keep them coming. I have to now get in here and organize everything and kind of switch stuff around because believe it or not, even though this is a good size pantry, I have run out of room. So today I'm going to reorganize and put some things down in the basement because I have some duplicates of things because like I said, I've received some, you know, free items. I'm going to now get in here, organize and put everything in its place. And I wanted to bring you guys along. Let me walk in here and just kind of share with you, you know, what we're going to be working with today. All right. So I have some items in here that are going to go down to the basement, like this little three-tiered little serving rack. It's going to go down to the basement. Um, all of these items here that I have in here for parties and things, they're going down to the basement. I have this ice bucket. It's going to go and find a new home. Um, oh my gosh. We have three cases there's another one down here on the floor of sodas that i need to put where they belong i need to go through some of these uh canned goods because i'm pretty sure some of them have expired i have some old cookies i have some paper towels and stuff i need to put up and it's like it's like an obstacle course in there so i'm gonna get that all nice and neat like i said i'm gonna bring you guys along and i'm gonna try to do this all before dinner so let's go ahead and get started all right guys so before we get started i wanted to really give you an up close and personal look at what we will be working with today so as you see um, we have some sodas here we have some waters that need to go up there these items here need to go down to the basement these are some of the items that I have received recently from Kasori. Hi Kasori, thank you guys so much for sending all of these items my way. We have um, a few items here that need to be reorganized and find a new home. Um, items need to be opened and put away. Just, you know, all these different sauces and stuff are supposed to have a home. Oh, by the way, um, so this week, Eric, uh, not Eric, <laughs> Chase is going to be making dinner. So he and Eric went to the grocery store. And so today he's going to make um, chicken Alfredo. So yes, I need to get this done and out of the kitchen before he gets started. So he just brought his groceries home and this is where he just dropped everything off. There's his some other, another pasta dish he's gonna make, but he needs to put it in there. Um, I picked up these rice, these new rice varieties from Kroger a few days ago. Have you guys tried these? I think that says Neely's Foods, and I have the flavor jerk rice, black beans, and I have zesty rice and red beans mix. I am going to try these out. Let me know if you've tried them, but if you haven't, I will, um, try them out here with the family and I'll let you know how they taste but yeah it's it's a mess in here it is a mess so I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod and go ahead and tackle all of this stuff
guys, so I think I'm all done now. It is so much neater. I feel that this little pantry can actually breathe now. I took away a lot of items and then I added in a few items as well. Um, the first one being this little piece right here that I picked up from Marshalls. It is just a really basic little, I don't know, some little storage doohickey. And I liked it because it's, it had the same white baskets as these two little storage containers that I have here. I actually picked these up from Ross several years ago. And then I got this one right here from Home Goods. And like I said, I like the fact that they all have the white faced baskets. Really, really pretty. It keeps the continuity going here in the pantry, providing for a really clean, really uniform look, I think. Um, I added this basket right here. And in here, I just added in you know my breads and things and oh so in the containers here i decided to store what is that just some capri suns down here you know how you have those little extra uh seasoning packets mixes little <laughs> bread sticks that you pick up from the restaurants and i have some little breakfast chocolate mix drinks down there um you guys have seen this area before just our paper towels and wine um, this item here I also picked up from Home Goods several years ago. And if you'll recall, I changed out the little knobs on those. And I think we ordered those or picked them up from Home Depot, I believe. All right. And so, guys, back here on this back wall, not a lot changed. I did, however, take a few of the appliances that I felt could be better utilized and place those down in the basement. A lot of the appliances are down there now. Um, you guys know that we don't have a traditional stove top in our basement kitchen. So I felt that my, some of my crock pots that I had I actually have, let's see, one single crock pot and then I have three mini crock pots. So those will be, you know, better utilized down in the basement. I did, however, add in my Kasori multi-cooker. I put this um, Kasori appliance up here as well. I won't talk too much about it because I have a video coming up on that real soon. I moved my toaster over here and then I just left, you know, left my serveware, dishware, um, serving dishes, chafing dishes, things like that. I just left those over there because I just like the way they look right there on that wall, you know? All right, and in, 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 in these containers, you guys have seen these before, just, um, napkins aluminum foil uh, my cloth napkins and you know more party items that's the ever infamous ever famous ever lovable chip <laughs> basket uh that's the window we didn't move the window <laughs> um my KitchenAid mixer again i purchased this item this unit here from home goods and it stores a lot of our extras as well all right and if we come around in the pantry this wall right here i think it looks a lot neater again i think it can breathe now i got rid of a lot of items that i know i was not going to use anymore i tossed a lot of outdated canned goods and things like that i added in these really bright really pretty baskets i love the fact that they are aligned so you know if there are any food stains or spills that get on them, all I have to do is remove that liner and wash those. All the sodas are in there. Appropriate home. Have all my oils there. I filled up the cookie jar. So yeah, I just like the way it looks now. Everything is just nice and neat. There's nothing in the floor. Everything is back to its beautiful self. Like I said, here in the house, we really do try to make sure that everything has its proper home, its proper place, so that when I get ready to find things, well, not only me, you know, but Eric and Chase also, whenever we're looking for something here in the house, we know exactly where it is. And also, guys, I forgot to show you this. I added this basket right here. And um, these are just my dish towels, my kitchen towels that I use, you know, to dry my pots and pans and to clean off the countertops. So... I placed those in there. Those are the extra ones. I do have some actually in the kitchen in the drawer, but those are the ones that are, you know, fresh out of the laundry. So yeah, this is the newly <laughs> organized pantry. I love it. But can you guys see, can you guys see why this 
is one of my favorite rooms in the house. I love that this pantry is so big, so expansive that I can just walk in here and find any and everything that I want. That's It was really frustrating me too when it was all messy the way it was, you know, a couple of hours ago, but I am really, really, really loving it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have a favorite room in your house. If so, which room is it? Tell me why. All right. I love having a lot of space in the kitchen. You guys know that when you're cooking, it can be chaotic. And, you know, especially when you have hungry family members, you know, demanding their food. It's really good to be able to come into this pantry and um, just quickly find the things that I need. So that is it, guys. Thanks so much for stopping in and hanging out with me today. Again, let me know your thoughts. I didn't have to do a whole lot. I will say that. I know that I didn't have to come in here and do a whole lot, but um, I do love it better now, though. I do love the additions, the baskets that I added, those white baskets up there just really make it nice and crisp. The baskets that I had up there previously, they had gotten kind of gunky and sticky and oily, so it really was time for a little refresh, okay? So again, let me know what you guys think. Thanks again for stopping in, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys!